Now let us solve question number 22 x is 15.4 chapter 15 in figure ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to DC and DC is equal to 40 centimeters and AB is equal to 60 centimeters if X and Y are midpoints of AD and BC prove that XY is equal to 50 centimeters second DCYX is a trapezium third area of trapezium DCYX is equal to 9 by 11 times area of trapezium XYBA so now moving on to solution let us note on given information that ABCD is a trapezium and he says X and Y are midpoints of AD and BC respectively and he is also given the dimensions that is AB is equal to 60 centimeters and CD is equal to 40 centimeters now in order to prove that let us draw a trapezium ABCD with the midpoints XY on AD and BC respectively join XY and draw a line dy and extend it to e the point where ab meets dy extension in order to prove the first proof let us consider in triangles triangle dcy and triangle bye cy is equal to yb since we know that y is the midpoint of bc and angle dyc will be equal to angle bye since these two are vertically opposite angles as dc is parallel to ab we can say that dc will also be parallel to AE that is the extension of AB. So here angle YDC will be equal to angle BEY since they are the alternate interior angles when the lines DC and AE are parallel with the DE as transversal. Now in these two triangles we have two angles and a side correspondingly equal therefore here we can say that triangle DYC is congruent to triangle EYB therefore when two triangles are congruent we can say that the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides will be equal therefore here we can say corresponding side of dy will be equal to ye and also dc will be equal to be let this be as equation number 1 and equation number 2 now let us consider the whole triangle that is in triangle ade in triangle ade we know that x is the midpoint of da and also as here dy is equal to ye we can say that y is midpoint of de therefore from the midpoint theorem we can say that xy is parallel to ae and xy will be equal to half times ae which implies xy is equal to half times ae can be written as sum of ab plus be which is equal to half times ab plus be can be written as dc since we have it from equation number 2 here he has given the distances ab and dc that is half times ab is given as 60 centimeters plus dc is given as 40 centimeters which is equal to half times 60 plus 40 is nothing but 100 that is equal to 
half times 100 is 50 centimeters. Therefore, we got the first proof that xy is equal to 50 centimeters. Now, in order to prove second proof, in the above proof, we achieved that xy is parallel to AE and also xy is equal to half times AE. Now, considering the statement that xy is parallel to AE, we can say that as xy is parallel to AE, xy will be parallel to AB also. But in the trapezium ABCD, it has given that AB is parallel to DC. Therefore, here as xy is parallel to AB and AB is parallel to DC, we can say xy is parallel to DC. Now, in the quadrilateral DCYX, we have one pair of sides or parallel. Therefore, we can say that quadrilateral DCYX is a trapezium. This is what the second proof. Now, now, in order to prove the third proof, consider both the trapeziums, trapezium ABYX and trapezium DCYX. In this, we know that DC is parallel to XY and XY is also parallel to AB. So, let us consider the common perpendicular distance in between them as H. We know that area of trapezium is given by half times the sum of lengths of parallel sides into the perpendicular distance between those parallel lines. Therefore, here area of trapezium ABYX will be equal to half times sum of parallel sides here is nothing but AB plus XY into distance we assumed as H which is equal to half times AB is 60 plus XY is 50 times H which is equal to 60 plus 50 is 110 110 by 110 by 2 is 55 therefore the area of trapezium AB by X is 55 H centimeter square and similarly area of trapezium DCYX is equal to half times sum of parallel sides that is DC plus XY into H which is equal to half times DC is 40 plus XY is 50 times H which is equal to 40 plus 50 is 90 90 by 2 is 45 therefore we left with 45 H centimeter square now area of trapezium AB by X divided by area of trapezium DC by X is equal to 55 H by 45 H centimeter square which is equal to here 45 H goes in 5 times 45 H goes in 5 9 times and 55 H goes in 5 11 times which is equal to 11 by 9 therefore we get area of trapezium DCYX is equal to let us cross multiply this then we get 9 by 11 times area of trapezium ABYX this is what the third proof we require